Hi everyone. In this video we're looking at how to use the Avada Custom Branding plugin. This was recently renamed from Fusion White Label Branding and updated for the new Avada 7. Today I'll go through the various settings pages and then import some previously exported settings to show you how different things can look. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. Avada Custom Branding is ThemeFusion's very own white label branding plugin, which allows you to customize almost every aspect of Avada and the WordPress interface to personalize them with your own branding. Let's take a closer look. The first thing to do is install the plugin, and with Avada this couldn't be easier. Just go to Avada, Plugins Add-ons from the WordPress dashboard, or Maintenance Plugins Add-ons from the Avada dashboard, mouse over the Avada Custom Branding plugin, and click Install. This adds the plugin with one click. And when it's done, adds an Avada branding menu to the WordPress dashboard. If we click on this, it takes us to the welcome page, and there are a series of links along the top to help you configure your site. There are three main sections, WP Admin, WP Login Screen, and Avada, and an Import Export tab which you can use to take backups of your settings or import them into another site. Let's look at each of them in turn. Let's start with WP Admin. Here in the WordPress Admin Branding Settings area, there are a number of settings we can use to change the look and feel of the WordPress Admin area for your users. We can remove the WordPress logo, remove the Screen Options tab from the top of Pages, remove the Help tab, hide or rename any of the admin menus, change the text in the WordPress Admin footer, hide any of the dashboard widgets, and even create a unique custom welcome panel to show at the top of the WordPress dashboard. There are also a few visibility settings, such as limiting the access to the branding settings to various user levels, adding custom CSS to style admin pages, and an option to apply branding changes to admins or not. At the very bottom of each section, you will see options to save the settings, reset the section, or to reset all sections. If we head to the next section, WP Login Screen, you will find a whole range of options for the actual login screen. You can change the background color, add a background image, change the logo, the color of the login box's background, the color of the login box text, the color of the login screen link and hover link, set the default button color and the hover button color, the button text color and hover text color, and finally remove the lost password link. On the Avada page, there are a whole range of options for customizing items on Avada admin pages. You can make the theme your own by changing the Avada label site-wide. You can remove the Avada admin bar menu from the admin bar when on the front end, remove any number of menu items from both the Avada WordPress admin menu and the Avada dashboard menu, remove any of the dashboard sticky menu items, rename the Avada post type menus, Remove post type menus, change the Avada logo image and version text, upload your own Avada menu icon image, or use a dash icon, add a unique welcome section to the Avada dashboard, remove the additional resource links, remove the Avada admin dashboard footer, and finally upload an icon image for the Avada custom branding menu, or use a dash icon instead. Import export is the last link in the toolbar. And here you can export your settings as a JSON file, either as a backup or so you can import them to another site. Under the export settings, you can export the settings for individual sections or all sections at once. And under the import settings, you can import a previously exported JSON file. Now there are a lot of settings in Avada Custom Branding in a lot of different areas, and they are hard to visualize. So here I will import some settings that I previously exported using the same panel. I will just choose the file here and click on Import Settings and I get a little tick to show it has been done. So I have imported quite some changes here. OK, let's start with the login screen. I'll just log out and we can now see my custom login screen with the custom colors and logo. Very nice. I'll just log in again and now we can see quite a few changes. I have only made a couple of changes to the WordPress admin area. 
I've hidden the Theme Fusion News Panel, and at the top of the page I've added a custom dashboard panel. The rest of the changes are coming from the Avada tab. Notice how there are new icons down the side instead of the usual Avada ones, and new labels, with D3 replacing every instance of Avada throughout the theme. If I head to the D3 dashboard, we can see another new icon at the top, a D3 Live button, a different version number, a custom welcome panel, and the additional resources and footer links are gone. If we mouse over some of the links, we can see that everywhere refers to D3 instead of Avada. This branding extends right through the builder, both in the backend builder as we can see here, and the live builder as well. You can use as little or as much of the Avada custom branding options as you like, and with this nifty little tool, you can bring your own custom branding to Avada and make yourself look as good as Theme Fusion. Okay, this concludes our video on how to use Avada custom branding. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.